In this presentation, we'll be walking through how to set up panels for placement with the formwork placing tools. We'll get started by going to the Tuckle Warehouse and downloading a blank set of configuration files to the current model folder. A folder called Formwork Tools will need to be placed or created in the model folder. And you can right click on this file and extract. I'm going to hide the configuration files that will not be used just for clarity. The file being used in this file ends in panels.csv. While we walk through the configuration file, I'm going to open the dialog to show where these fields will appear in the user interface. Make sure you have the correct unit type if you're using Imperial or Metric. I'll be using Inch for this system. We'll first enter the supplier and product family. The name will appear as the option in the list when you pick out the panel you want to use. Under panel name, this is the name of the custom part as it appears in the catalog. I will copy the name of it and paste it into Excel. Panel attributes correspond to attributes of the component and may or may not be needed. This component has input variables for width and height and does not require attributes in this case, and this component is used for all of my panels. If the attributes column is left blank, the default settings or standard attribute is used. The input order tells the tools where to place the handles of the custom part. This can vary depending on the items and how the custom part were created. The possible options are listed above. We'll use start end. If your panel starts at the back right corner and goes to the left opposite of mine, then in that case you would use end start. The next three properties relate to the position properties of the custom part. For each position type, you can enter an applicable value for on-plane, rotation, and depth. The next two fields can offset the component handles at the start and end. The values are enclosed in parentheses and can be separated by spaces or commas. Now we'll define the variables in the component that affect the height and width. Again, this is only unique for this type of component because it uses those input. Under the height property column, enter the variable name affecting that parameter as it is in the custom component variable list. Next, the value can be entered for this panel size. And we'll do the same thing for width. The thickness does not require a property since it remains constant for the various panel sizes and that value will be left blank, and the value of the thickness must be entered though. I'll need to go back and adjust the width value to the correct size for this panel. And now that that's complete, I can save and test this out with the placing tools. To be able to read this CSV file, the file must be closed and the dialog may need to be reopened. Now let's test out the panel just created. I'll remove the filler field since there hasn't been any created yet and apply these settings. Now you may find out the panels weren't placed properly and may need to adjust some of the position values or offsets. This is what the configuration file will look like once all of the sizes are created. The only columns that will need to change in my case are the option name and the size of each panel. Now in the dialog, all options are going to be visible in the name list. All these fields to the right of what has been discussed so far determine where accessories are placed on the panel. For each accessory type, there are preset and pick options depending on how they are applied from the dialog. In conclusion, the panel CSV file defines the components for panels and the positions where the accessories are placed. The remaining CSV files then specify what component to place for that accessory and where its component handles are placed relative to those locations that are defined in this panel's CSV file. Thanks for watching and make sure to visit the Techle User Assistance for more articles and videos on this topic.